Valorant players experience lag or packet loss on a very frequent basis. A lot of people complain and they can't find a way out of it. So this video is for those distraught people who need help with their ping or packet loss. I hope the methods that I provide are helpful to you and that you will stop lagging. So one of the most basic solutions to high ping and packet loss is to restart your router. You can power cycle your router by turning it off for 30 seconds and then turning it back on. I don't guarantee that this will solve your issue, but it is one of the most basic things you can do in order to fix high ping. Another thing that could be causing you high ping or packet loss could be other applications that are open on your computer. Like for example, Chrome. If Chrome is open on your computer, you're running YouTube or maybe Netflix, those sort of things can cause you lag and you don't want that. So you can check your hidden icons right over here and you can exit some of these applications that could be causing you um, lag or potential packet loss. If none of those basic solutions helped you out and you're still suffering high ping or high packet loss, you can try flushing your DNS and a windsock reset. So you want to run command X by going to your start menu, typing in CMD and then running as administrator. I prepared a little notepad over here with a bunch of commands that you need to run. You'll find these in the description of the video. So you just copy paste all of these. So you do that, and you'll see, successfully flush the DNS with all the cache, you get rid of all of that. Run this. Just basically just gotta copy-paste all of these commands. As it slowly does its work. Go. And then finally the windsock reset. I think I typed that out twice, sorry. There we go, successfully reset Winstock catalog. And that should help you after you restart your computer, just go over here and you hit restart. After you do that, run Valorant again, you check out, you see if your problem has been fixed. If not, then we move on to the next step. Another potential solution to your problem could be um, checking out your network device's properties. So you head over to search bar and you type in control panel. You see that pop up you go to view by category make sure that's selected as category you go over to view network status and tasks click on that you click on internet right here and properties bottom left you head on over to internet protocol version 4 properties again and then you switch it to use the following dns server addresses you can go eight uh oh, that is not the right thing sorry about that you go just gonna delete that go 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, and 8 here, and then 8, 8, 4, 4. Do that, close, and then close. And you can try running Valorant, and it should help. If not, you can come back here, go back to properties, you can do the same thing again, but this time, you can change it to 1, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Close, close. You can restart your computer, try it again. If that doesn't do anything, you can go back, properties, and just restart it right back to where it was. You just obtain DNS server automatically. Okay, close, and close. And we'll move on to the next step. If all else has failed and you're still experiencing high ping or packet loss, you can try going back to your search bar yet again and typing in device manager, going over to your network adapter, Mine is this one right here. Yours is going to be different. This is mine. You right click on it and you click update driver. Search automatically. Mine already has the best drivers updated and installed, so I don't need to do that. But in case yours actually updates, it could potentially increase your speeds. And if that doesn't work, if all else in this video has failed for you and you're still lagging, you could try potentially limiting the number of users that are on your router. It could be an issue that there's more than five people using one router and that could cause problems for you. The router suffers, it struggles. And if even that doesn't work, if you're still lagging, that's an issue with your ISP or your router potentially. You could switch out your router, you could buy a new one, or you could contact your ISP and question them and ask them as to why you're lagging so badly. Anyway, I hope this video has helped. I hope you're able to solve your issues and you don't have to resort to such lengthy and expensive solutions. And uh, I'll see you guys later.